Hello guys, my name is Yuri Benedict. Uh, I'm a trainer of uh, innovation skills like uh, design thinking or lean and also digital skills like Microsoft Excel and all the other apps that make you productive. Most of my clients are large corporations, but I also do trainings that are available uh, online for all of you. Uh, today, I would like to show you uh, my studio. I would like to give you a quick tour of my desk setup, how I do live uh, trainings and Zoom calls, uh, so you can uh, you can learn and make your uh, make your uh, Zoom calls or trainings better depending what you do. So let me let's get started. Let's start with the screens. Uh, as you can see, I have two screens. They are 27 inch screens. Uh, this one is Lenovo. This one is Samsung, and these are office screens. That means uh, they have USB-C hub uh, like um, built into them. So the advantage is I can plug like up to four devices, uh, peripherals to each of the monitors, and then I can just like plug them via USB-C directly to my laptop, which is uh, really amazing. It also gives power to my laptop and uh, that's super easy. I love it. Uh, I put these uh, screens on arms so I can move them individually. The left one is on an individual arm and the right one is actually also on an arm, but th this is an arm uh, intended for two screens. So uh, let me show you. Uh, what I did is I took the second arm and I put my camera on it right here. So there is a one more arm. There was supposed to be one more screen, but I just put my camera on it instead. There used to be this visa mount uh, that's made you know, to hold the screens, but I took it out and it started off. I put like the ball head uh, here from my uh, from my gorilla pot here. There used to be the ball head. I took it out and uh, put it right here and with a with a screw. I followed some YouTube tutorials, so thank you guys. Let me show you better right here. So uh, that's my uh, that's my screen. That's my camera. Uh, I also need to buy an adapter because the battery would drain, drain quite quickly when streaming and uh, I use HDMI to connect it to my computer and I have an HDMI capture device which is called uh, Elgato, uh, how is it called? It's from, from the company Elgato, Camlink, it's called Camlink and it's connected via to my USB 3 just right in this monitor. So it works like a, like a charm. Also, uh, I can move it, uh, move it all around I want, and I can also, let's say, if I would like to do overhead shots, I just like uh, fix it like that, and I can do very easy overhead shots. So let's put it back. Okay. So and when I finished streaming or uh, Zoom calling or uh, training online, I just like close it like that and uh, I can come back to work. So when I'm streaming, I'm usually, uh, I'm having my uh, Zoom app right here on the right screen, so I can have like a, uh, like a direct eye contact with the people or almost direct eye contact. You know, I watch a look here and I can see their faces, what they're doing as well. And this screen, I'm usually streaming. So, so people share, I'm sharing what I'm doing on this screen. So if when I'm teaching, for example, Microsoft Excel, people can see what I'm doing here. I can see them here. Maybe I have some uh, notes uh, placed here or other like my browser or other things that I'd like to show. So if I would like to show, for example, my browser, I can just like drag the window, pull it here, people see it immediately, and then pull it out. Uh, it gets more complicated with PowerPoint. So when I'm presenting something from PowerPoint, let me show you, uh, I use the presenter view. Let me show you how it works. So, uh, so when I'm presenting, it's, uh, uh, there is the presentation on one screen and the second screen shows some additional information for me as a presenter. You know, what's on the screen, that's mainly for face-to-face -face presentations, but what will be the next frame? And also I will I see the slides uh, from all around the presentations right here. So I can just like scroll and uh, whenever I feel like uh, skipping some part or moving to other parts of presentation, I can do it very seamlessly uh, by just like uh, clicking uh, right here. Okay, so uh, that's, that's how I uh, use it. That's how I use uh, PowerPoint. The problem is, uh, okay, so uh, in Excel, you cannot really easily, uh, you cannot really easily like uh, 
make this window smaller so uh, it, it's all full screen and there is no way how to put it in the window and use presenter view in the same time on windows it's possible on mac it's a little bit difficult <clears throat> so i need a third screen actually when i'm doing that so uh, when i'm streaming f or presenting a presentation from powerpoint i need to open my laptop I uh, show the presentation here, and this is the screen I share. I keep my zoom here and my presenter view right here. That's uh, quite of ridiculous to have to use three screens, but uh, that's what makes a professional and seamless experience for, uh, for the participants. Uh, what I also use to make my PowerPoints more engaging is this uh, tablet, tablet device. It's a tablet used for graphic designers mainly. Uh, I use it to annotate my presentations. Let me close this for now. So uh, if we'd like to highlight something, I just like uh, take this pen and I can like very easily draw something, you know, make an arrow and it's very easy to uh, highlight and make the presentations uh, very uh, user friendly and uh, attractive and interesting. Okay. So that's about uh, PowerPoint. What else I'm using? Sound. Let's speak about sound. Uh, this is a Rode NT-USB mini uh, microphone with built-in uh, audio uh, device. So, uh, so it goes out uh, via USB-C. So it's directly connected to my screen and it goes digitally and there's no, uh, no it's hassle-free. Uh, it also has a built-in pop filter, so uh, you don't need anything else. It's a really great value for money. Uh, the disadvantages of this style of microphone is that it needs to be really close to your mouth. Uh, so wherever I'm going like back, it's, uh, the sound gets uh, much worse. Uh, but the sound is very rich, so it's mainly for podcasting and live streaming microphone. Uh, it, I like this arm as well, which is like very nice. It's quite cheap. It was like 20 bucks. And whenever I'm finished, that's it. So very easy, very easy to use. Uh, so let me fix it. Sometimes it's quite hard to, to align those screens. So what else uh, do I have here? Uh, I use the Apple Magic uh, Keyboard. What I like about what's useful for streaming and for uh, online trainings and Zoom, it has function keys from F13 all the way to F19. So you can very easily uh, assign those to different apps. I have, uh, I have one for Finder, one from PowerPoint. So it's very easy for me to switch, uh, switch uh, apps when I'm streaming. Also, when you are live streaming on YouTube, for example, you can uh, set these uh, in OBS or other software to switch scenes, which is very practical. I use uh, Apple Magic uh, Touchpad, which is amazing for making presentations mainly because uh, I, you know, I manipulate objects and uh, do a lot of visual work. So I prefer it over the mouse, but I'm thinking actually getting a mouse as well. Uh, also, speaking about the spe sp phones, I use this uh, uh, Plantronics uh, uh, headphones. They are great. Uh, I, as you can see, uh, they are they are Bluetooth speakers. But as you can see, I have a wire here because for uh, Zoom calls, online training, streaming, it's much better to have wired uh, headphones because uh, Bluetooth can be a pain in the ass you know it can be it can be complicated to uh, uh, to connect it can disconnect so i prefer wired just to avoid any issues with that uh, the last topic is lighting. As you can see, I'm quite well lit at the moment, although this angle is not quite typical on me. Uh, I'm shooting it on my, uh, on my iPhone right now, just for the purpose of the desk tour. So uh, normally the camera faces me here. So uh, that is great. Uh, during the day, I have no problems because I have this gi giant uh, window right behind me. So as you can see, I have a plenty of lights, uh, like very natural uh, light. So this is amazing. Uh, I also have like an indirect lighting. I have a, like a strong light uh, uh, reflecting from a white wall just uh, behind me. So I would say I'm quite well lit even when it's dark outside, but uh, still this will be like the next investment to my studio. So that's it. 
thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope there's something uh, that will make your Zoom calls or uh, live streaming trainings uh, better. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. And thanks for watching.